Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome in. We're back in London. Two weeks in a row here, and of course, it's raining. I don't only know if it's one weather that London can have, and it is, it is a downpour. Let's hope the wind is as crazy as it was last time, because that was fun to watch as the uh, Jets-Falcons was last week. But this week, on tap, we have the 3-2 uh, and two Jacksonville Jaguars versus the 1-4 Miami Dolphins. So, two teams in very different directions here. The Jaguars coming off a tough loss against uh, Tennessee. Uh, and the Dolphins coming off an ugly, rainy game against the uh, Bucks. So they only lost 10-6, to but it was a very ugly game. So both teams looking for uh, a better week this week. The Jaguars hoping to keep their lead in the division uh, and hoping to get the uh, Colts knocked off. And the Dolphins are hoping to still have a chance at the playoffs after this week because uh, losing this one would probably do enough damage to that to take them out of the race. Uh, at least reasonably. It would take quite the comeback for them. A big week for Tua as well. Um, I mean, we're running out of time for Tua uh, in this Miami Dolphins uniform to show that he's got it. Um, as we'll go ahead and jump into... Also, this Jaguars team has been very good defensively. It's getting Gilmore back. A uh, huge addition to their secondary. Can really lock down wide receiver one. Uh, as, yep, the wind is as crazy as last week, so... We're right back in it uh, for all of you who actually watched the uh, Jets-Falcons game from last week. Hopefully we'll get some more 15-yard punts. Uh, you know, just good stuff like that. That game single-handedly brought uh, Dom Maggio, the Falcons punter, down to last place in the average punt distance. <laughs> um, so it's just really, really unfortunate uh, for them. As, the, uh, as Trevor Lawrence is going to start under center here, Le'Veon Bell behind him. And we're going to start with a stretch here. Le'Veon Bell trying to get going. A little bit of a slow start to the year. That's going to be a five-yard carry. Yeah, feeling only 57 carries with 241 yards. Uh, it's actually not too bad. I thought he was a little bit lower than that. So, eh, maybe not as bad as I thought. Pretty solid. Uh, they do run around a lot of Stevenson as well. Uh, kind of getting both of them involved as they jump into the eye for him close here. Maybe look at the play-action boot here to start us off. And they are going to just hand it off. Avion up and running. Another seven-yard run this time. Duval enabled, I guess, uh, as that's going to be a first down on two straight run plays for Jacksonville. 12 yards total for Le'Veon, or maybe a bit more. And going back to the well one more time, and this time, uh, Jerome Baker, is that for the Dolphins? It is Jerome Baker. Gets the tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, second and nine setting up, and they're going to jump to the gun here. You're trying to see if Trevor Lawrence kind of a good one here. They are going to hand it off to Stevenson. He cuts up the middle. Great cut by uh, Stevenson there to get five yards on a play that looks maybe a little bit broken. Third and manageable here, uh, right around midfield for Jacksonville. And draw, and they didn't trust Trevor Lawrence at all on that uh, possession. All run plays there, uh, and they are going to have to punt here. Fourth and five, uh, punting with the wind. That's not going to be quite difficult from this distance because of how crazy this wind is. It'll be a, a tall task to get this thing pinned inside of the 20. Looks like he's going to try to... And there it is, a touchback. Uh, just, again, uh, not a bad punt. Uh, so it wasn't this much wind. You definitely expect the thing to be inside the five, but um, made sure to aim for the corner there. Um, two hasn't been bad. Like, I wasn't. I don't mean to say that two hasn't been bad, but he's not been what they needed um, in a lot of these games. He's had some yards, but he hasn't been able to get in the end zone, especially last week. Uh, I think they just need a lot more out of two uh, uh, for you know, being a number three pick. And a team that's looking at a high pick right now. Um, actually, they traded it, did they? I can't remember. As Tua gets sacked right away, Woods splits the double team and gets the sack on Tua. Tua's got to get rid of that one, but Jacksonville's defense off to a hot start, just like their offense was off to a good one. Now being coached by Urban Meyer, best thing that could happen to him. Tua jumping back to pass, and he's going to just take the check down here. Uh, just a couple yards. Not going to do that much of a dent into their third down to go, but it's a completion, you know, get the rhythm going, uh, so it's going to be third and 13 here, Let's see if they draw up Bateman, uh, he out wide, working against Gilmore, it's a tough matchup, and over the middle of the field, has been and broken up, uh, good throw there, uh, just could not get completed, I don't know who dropped it there, but Hughes on the coverage, uh, able to, uh, break that pass up, I mean, not a bad look at all for Tua. 
Uh, it's just one of those you gotta come down with. I don't can't. I think he got that again. I'll have to look up 87 later. Uh, but Dolphins are gonna punt into the wind. A risky proposition for sure. As that's that's, that's respectable. I mean, hey. I mean, we had 15 yards last week, so you know Matt Hack is the best punter in the league by average. So at least at least he could get it close to midfield with this wind. He's averaging 55 yards per punt and a 52-yard net. So that's just how I mean, that's 20 yards lost right there on the wind. So crazy. And right away, back to the run game, and right away, success with Avion Bell. Four carries, 22 yards. Um, and Stevenson's going to come back in out of the gun. Definitely had more success under the stretch plays off tackle. Uh, as Trevor Lawrence has set up to make his first throw of the game, looking for, and he's going to throw it away. Been looking for a deep shot, but he just decided to throw it away. Not a terrible decision. Lived to fight another down. Uh, I mean, borderline field goal range, really, with as much wind as there is. We did see the Falcons miss one at this range. Le'Veon and can't get the edge. Uh, good uh, pursuit there from Baker and uh, was that McCain, maybe? But Jerome Baker is going to get an assisted tackle on that as well. One of the league leaders in tackles overall. They are going to line up for the 57-yard field goal from the logo. And they're going to fake it. Gardner Minshew, incomplete pass. Exciting stuff that Gardner Minshew gets the pass batted down. That's line of didn't have his guy open anyway. Uh, so that's going to set up the Dolphins. A great field position here. Not too far to go. And incomplete pass there from Tua. Uh, steps up into the pressure, uh, but just can't get it to uh, be completed. Got hit as he threw. Maybe if he had stayed where he was, he could have completed the pass. But nonetheless, uh, blitz coming. Tua over the middle. Great look from Tua there. Uh, that time it was CJ Henderson is hurt now too, so it'll be interesting to see what that injury was. Let's go. Crowder is 87. Crowder from the slot could not come down with that uh, third down throw there. And we can keep rolling here. So, first play for the Dolphins in uh, Jacksonville territory here. Setting up in the uh, double wing set. And it's going to be handoff up the middle. And Najee Harris going to fall forward for a gain of five. Again, uh, a player who I think they expected a bit more of. They have given him the ball more than Le'Veon has. But I feel like this offensive line has really let him down. A uh, team that should run the ball a lot better than they have. And they just aren't right now. Um, in games where Najee's been rolling, they just haven't given enough carries. As Najee had, looks like could have had a bigger game than that, uh, but runs into the tackle. But that being said, still first down, still moving the chains. Uh, we're at two minutes to go in the first. Inside trap play, I love this play. Uh, Going to get Najee a seven or eight yard run. That's going to be six. A six yard run. Uh, that inside trap play has been very good for a lot of teams in the sim. Uh, gets to the defenders moving kind of away from where they need to be. Two are rolling out to his right. Throws across his body and it's picked off. Miles Jack picks off the ill-advised Tua throw. He's going to take this one all the way to the house. Very questionable decision by Tua not to just run it there as he had the first. Miles Jack capitalizes and gets the touchdown. Um, huge momentum swing in there as it felt like the Dolphins were about to. I mean, score on this drive, really. It really felt like they were about to turn this thing around and uh, put the ball maybe in the end zone. But, um, cost the turnover, really. Cost the, cost the turnover. So the extra point set up for here, a minute 29 to go in the first quarter. It is up, and it is... Good. So that will give Jacksonville a 7 nothing lead, kicking it off back to the Dolphins. Hopefully Tua can shake off the turnover and uh, I mean, stay aggressive. I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, but he had a great drive there. He's made some good throws. I, I think he just needs to stay aggressive um, and just not super aggressive. He's not Mahomes. I mean, if he was rolling out the other way, you could see me that throw having enough on it. But rolling opposite, trying to flip your hips like that, it's just not a great plan. They're going to set up a play action, try to give him something, panicking, and... He just got himself sacked right there. He, I mean, he could have thrown it away, he could have rolled out, but he literally panicked and tucked and run and cost him 
you're going to just let him fall right into his lap and get the sack there. So Tua kind of unraveled there. Um, again, hopefully he can figure figure himself out here. Rolls out and overthrown Anaji there. This game has really turned around in Tua. Uh, he's got to start, you know, set, start pulling this thing around. Um, right now, things are going bad very quickly for him. Is again an incomplete pass uh, off target. Paxton had to punt into the wind uh, one more time from the 20. And another solid kick. I mean, down to the 50. That's. Can't ask for much more than a 30 yard punt in this kind of situation. One of the best punters in the league. Uh, but gonna need a lot more at 2 0. Let's see if Trevor Lawrence can get something going here. He, uh, what is he, 0 for 1? Uh, yeah, he threw he over to that one, but they're going to run it again to Le'Veon, and nothing doing this time. About 50-50 on if he's going to have a great play there, but a uh, good tackle there from Miami to hold them to no gain. Trevor Lawrence setting up to throw, looking uh, to the sideline, and has Chenault for a 7 yard gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. So uh, the uh, advantage of the win is going to flip here. Matt Hack's going to kick an 80-yard punt next time you know, because he's going to actually have the wind at his back. But either way, setting up to the throw again. Third and four. Going for it all here. Does he have it? And great defense there. Is that Byron Jones or is that Fabian Howard? They're going to go ahead and punt into the wind. Uh, I can't remember. I think that's by uh, Fabian. I think he's their only ability. Right. I can't remember who it is. I was looking at the stats. I don't know their numbers well enough. One of their great corners. It's a great problem to have, by the way. Um, made the play there. Uh, receiver had no chance. Uh, play action again. Two is setting up. Rolls out and just throws it away. Oh, he had a man wide open. Uh, Parker. Wide open. At 15 yards, just had to stand there and deliver. Uh, but the blitz got to him. Uh, kind of in his head at this point. Two again, setting up throw. Blitz coming. Rolls out and has a completion. Good throw there to Jamison Crowder. Uh, under pressure, free blitzer. Uh, makes most of it. I'd like to see a lot more out of that from Tua. Or a lot more of that out of Tua. Because... I mean, that's killed him so far in the game. It's just blitz getting to him or the pressure. You know, he feels it too much. A draw up the middle and nothing to it. Miles Jack sniffs it out. Going to be a gain of two, maybe. Oh, not even a gain. Got a bunch off to the right here. A lot of interesting stuff he's going to do out of a bunch to see what they draw up for Tua. Running a verticals concept. Tua rolling out, has the rim. He decides to throw it. Parker gets the catch. Good job by Tua to force the defense to come up and respect his uh, running and then passing it up to Parker. Really the opposite of what he did when he threw the pick was he, he made him come to him first and then make the throw. It's good that he's looking to throw still, but that was actually the right time to throw. The last time would have been better to run based off the terrible angle we get. Counterplay, and not much doing there. Uh, this is Jaguars defense. Done a good job of swarming to Najee after the first two carries. Will Compton on the tackle. Two again. Blitz coming. And decides to basically throw that one away. Uh, not really anybody open at that point. Uh, it's a good thing that wasn't on target because that one could have been picked off. Um, so just good decision to throw that thing into the dirt. Um, they have to fight another down. Two again. Setting a throw. Blitz coming. It has a man over the middle. Is that enough for the first? Looks like it's not. Fourth and inches. They are in field goal range though. Good tackle there by Wilson to force the field goal. The field goal is up, and it is good. So the Dolphins are on the board, 7-3. to three. They're going to get the ball back to Jacksonville with plenty of time to make something happen. 423 left in the second quarter. Let's see what Trevor Lawrence and these Jaguars have in store for us this drive. You gotta just take the dump off to Chenault, who is gonna quickly be tackled. That's Byron Jones. Yep, so is Byron Jones on the uh, pass question too, on that side. So, I was right the first time. That's what I was thinking too much. Trevor Lawrence again, back to throw. Only four from Miami. 
Uh, they did get pressure on him at the end, though. So uh, blitzing four has paid off for them as they've been having that better coverage, and the pressure is getting home. And again, blitzing four. Trevor Lawrence thinks he has a man, and who? Byron Jones likely could have gotten the pick there. Um, looks like a good opportunity for him. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and punt this one away. So Tua, with plenty of time to operate here, a chance to give his uh, Miami Dolphins the lead coming in the half. Parker in motion. Setting up a quick pass and has Gusecki and plenty of room to run down to the red zone as Wilson's able to shove him out. Great look there from uh, Tua. Good catch and run by Gusecki and also good play design to free him up uh, with the motion in to give attention to Parker. And off to Najee. He's got the lane. Does he have enough? He breaks the tackle and gets brought down by Miles Jack. Uh, good run there from Najee Harris. Uh, couldn't make the, uh, after the first guy missed, he couldn't get any yards forward. Uh, the, this Jaguars team has done a very good job of at least pursuing to the ball um, and making it harder on this Dolphins team. Inside trap again, Najee, hoo, 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 hoo. he had the touchdown. He had the touchdown at the middle. Uh, he just tried to make too much happen there. Um, so it's going to be third and one, setting up in the gun tray to the right. And let's look at the spacing concept. Tua going for the touchdown, and that's going to be an illegal touching call. Uh, which, good thing he came back, because uh, Gilmore just had his first pick as a Jaguar. Uh, Aguilar steps out of bounds before touching it. So we're probably going to see another field goal here for Miami. Yep. Going to be just a 25-yarder. So a two-missed chip shot. Should be a formality. And it is. So seven to six. Uh, in favor of Jacksonville still, uh, hoping their offense can give them a little bit more than they did on their last drive to at least milk the rest of the clock, if nothing else, uh, give their defense a bit of a break. Because that defense was on the field a lot there, back-to-back. -back. Uh, so never a good recipe for success is to make the defense be on the field more than they need to be. So coming up at halftime, we will talk about the Thursday night football game because it's the only game we can talk about right now. Um, and... I'm sure I'll find something else to talk about. Uh, and Le'Veon Bell up the middle. Quiet, uh, really cooled off from that hot start. We had four carries, 20 yards. Uh, his last three have not gone for hardly anything as Stevenson's checked back in for him. Good play action, got him to bite, and overthrows LaVista Chanel. Had his man open with plenty of room to run as well, but unfortunately not able to connect on that one. A big third and seven coming up here. Miami, three timeouts left. They can get the ball back. They can easily get another field goal to take the lead. Uh, but we're going to have to put pause on that discussion as Trevor Lawrence completes the pass to DJ Chark for the first down. Uh, pretty wise for Jacksonville not to hurry up too much as your offense hasn't been particularly great. You know, get another first and we'll start talking about hurrying up uh, as Trevor Lawrence is setting up the throw. And he's, oh, evades the pressure, I guess. Uh, definitely thought he was going to be sacked there uh, by that Shaq Lawson on that side. Um, don't know how he didn't get sacked, but uh, he wasn't. So, yeah, there it is. Um, pressure again. Lawrence throws it back across his body um, to Hurst. That's a, that's kind of questionable. Uh, throw it like that for, I mean, he at the line of scrimmage. Uh, as they were setting up the screen, uh, he's going to throw it late and throw it into the dirt. Um so that really ended poorly for Jacksonville. The only good part of it was is the Hurst catches at least in bounds. So they did get it down to a minute left on the clock. Um, as the Dolphins are going to get the ball at the 36-yard line. Three timeouts and a minute to go. So clearly plenty of time for Miami to make something happen. Especially the wind at their back uh, and a good kicker in Sanders. They really don't need to get that close. I mean, they get to the 40 even. So a couple first downs, you know, all the timeouts used, they'll be fine. To a set and a throw. Najee got out of there super quick, but uh, Jameson Crowder with a good 15 yard chunk to start us off. They're right on the edge now, field goal range. Um, so, yeah, that's just like that. You know, executed. Just what you need to do. Be a 60 some yarder, but with this wind, you could see it happening. Uh, the Argus are going to go ahead and run it, knowing that they're relatively close. They just want to try to get a little bit closer to the kicker. Um, 
or maybe just try to catch the defense by surprise. Uh, I wouldn't call it more timeouts after this one. I would uh, just hurry up. But they're probably going to call it timeouts because it's the AI. And that's just going to be an overthrow by Tua. Just trying to get rid of that one. Uh, this does work out well. If they can't get the first down the last time out, can uh, give them the field goal to hopefully take the lead on this one. Going for it all, Tua with the flag. And gets pushed out of bounds here. But I wonder where the flag's going to be. Uh, personal foul. Roughing the passer. They threw that flag pretty early for roughing the passer. Uh, but just like that, the roughing the passer on Josh Allen is going to give the Dolphins new life in this one. Uh, I would just say take some shots at the end zone. Um, but we'll see what they do here. Josh Allen with the pressure. Tua rolling out. Shot to the end zone. And touchdown. What a catch from Parker. Uh, what a throw from Tua as well. On the run. Uh, hit into the front pile on there. Be interesting to see if this play stands. Uh, they're going to have boost view. Um, see if it stands even as a touchdown too. Because it's a tougher view for sure. I mean, he hits the pylon with his foot. Is he... Well, that's out. That's out for sure. Yeah, that's, that's not in. There's no way. There's no way that's in. All right, yep, they took the touchdown off the board. So that uh, play is overturned. Uh, it was incomplete pass, which I think was the right call. As to, again, set up the throw. The pressure getting there. Decides to just jump it off to Najee, who's just going to get him nice to chip shot range. Uh, this would be their last play of the half if they're smart. And just take the field goal. They call a timeout super early, but I mean, they're not going to be able to do anything in 16 seconds anyway. So it's Najee's first catch of the morning. Yeah, as far as local time is concerned. It always looks like they dang, you know, they don't get when it goes up the net. But the Dolphins are able to take the uh, two-point lead. Uh, let's see if anything crazy happens for Jacksonville, but uh, it's really hard to envision anything crazy happening uh, for Jacksonville um, because, well, crazy stuff doesn't usually happen. But maybe a play-action deep ball to Chark or something. Could happen. Who knows? Uh, they're just going to run out the middle. So... That's going to do it for our first half. I'm going to go rescue my co-hosts from outside because they're barking at something. So anyway, we are back. Uh, the Buccaneers versus the Eagles game, Thursday Night Football. Really, it was quite the game. It doesn't. It's not as bad as it looked, score-wise. Early on, very exciting. Uh, started off with a long touchdown run by uh, James Robinson, a candidate for uh, run of the year, really, uh, as he trucks the guy in the hole and then runs away from everybody. Uh, and then matched by a long touchdown uh, from Jalen Hurts, really just a great throw from him, and matched by a long touchdown from Tom Brady to uh, God, or, yeah, Godwin. And then there was a drop on a deep ball. I can't remember who dropped it for the Eagles, but that was like 14-14. Uh, and then after that, it was pretty much all Bucks. There was a deep pass to Elijah Moore in the second half that gave the Eagles their next touchdown. But overall, very good game. Uh, it was it's one that's fun to watch, especially early in the game. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting stuff happens uh, for sure. So here we are, Tua, uh, leading some successful drives uh, so far since that pick six. Uh, really just a matter of can he um, get him in the end zone. Uh, as we have the drop here, is that Wilson on the drop or is that Bateman, 84? We'll have to look to see who they say the drop is on. Uh, it's not going to tell me. So 84 is a drop, though. As he throws it out to Gusecki, uh, Gilmore in the zone after forcing, quote-unquote, Forcing that incompletion. Blitz off the end, too. It does not see it coming. Pushed right into Josh Allen. So CJ Henderson is fine. Gets the half sack with Josh Allen. And that's going to be a punt. Quick punt here. By the Dolphins, they're going to have to punt into the wind. So, of course, when they're into the wind for their punter, they're, uh, you know, 
going to make them eat, make them punt into it. But uh, when they are not. But it's just a totally different story. So it's just, uh, they just don't like their punter. They don't want him to be on the league leaders anymore, and he won't be after three straight punts that didn't even go 50 yards. So uh, great tackle there um, by Jerome Baker. Again, for the Dolphins, he's everywhere. Uh, as the Jaguars' running attack has really slowed down, and that's been the difference in their offense, is they can't run the ball right now, and they can't throw the ball very well either. As they go for the deep shot, and that is a very, very dangerous throw to DJ Chark there by Trevor Lawrence. Uh, looks like it was, you know, prime candidate for a pick there, um, but he has not been good at all today. Uh, as he throws it to the right side and does get the completion to Hayden Hurst, but that's just going to be too uh, short. For the first down, you're really just making the punt harder at this point. You're going to go for the field goal. That's right. 61 yarders are possible here. I uh, wonder if they fake it again. They do not. They're going for it. And it is really not good. Um, not, you know, not terribly close. For sure. Uh, so, a lot of pressure on this Jacksonville defense to hold the Dolphins here. Uh, they get the ball on the 50. Um, and a hey, good start. Uh, stuffing Najee Harris right at the line of scrimmage. Gilmore in the slot here. Shadowing Parker a bit. That's not Parker. That's, yeah, that's Crowder even. Oh, okay. I don't even know what he's doing over there then. But third and nine. Big third and nine for Tua. Hopefully he can uh, convert for them. Put him into field goal range. Blitz coming. Miles Jack on pursuit. And what a throw across his body to Najee Harris. Uh, on the run and gets it to the 23-yard line. Uh, good good look from Tua and uh, good catch and run by Najee Harris. Up to 37 yards receiving on the game. Um, just another big play by this passing offense where it's a run after catch opportunity and they take advantage. the Dolphins. Second and three on the 16-yard line. Looking to score their first touchdown of the game. Tua decides to take it and run and goes down before the first down marker. Really questionable that there's nobody there. Uh, you got the block you needed even. So uh, that's just tough for sure. And that's going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage by the Jaguars. Uh, so he had settled for a field goal. Uh, but yeah, that's that's tough. That's a tough style for sure. Um, you had enough to get the first down there, and you're stuck with getting only three points out of it. So, I mean, take the lead. You know, five point lead. Uh, Jacksonville's offense hasn't done anything yet. I think if I'm Miami, I'm very scared that their offense hasn't hasn't done anything for them except for the chances they had at a fake. So, I don't love it. I don't love that at all. Uh, coming into this drive, they're due. For a big play. Uh, but we'll see if they can ha make it happen. Trevor Lawrence has really struggled. Probably the worst rookie quarterback so far. Uh, in the sim here. And uh, he does get the pass to Stevenson. Who breaks the tackle. So there's your big play. Stevenson brings him to the other side of the 50. Uh, just a great catch and run by Stevenson. Uh, not so much on Trevor Lawrence on that one. But uh, regardless, he did what he needed to do. A 25 yard catch for Stevenson. And stretch play. And nothing doing it all. Uh, this Miami defensive line uh, took that first bit personally, I guess. Shaq Lawson with the tackle for loss. Those first sort of four runs. Trevor Lawrence setting up throw. Blitz coming and dangerous, dangerous throw. Uh, the, the defensive back from Miami is running the route for him. Uh, luckily, Trevor Lawrence was inaccurate on the throw. Otherwise, that's a pick. Once again, setting a throw, tips up in the air, and harmlessly to the turf. Uh, they're going to kick it from even further. <laughs> 66 yarder. <laughs> well, I admire the balls on the Jacksonville John Gruden. <laughs> Not John Gruden, sorry. Uh, John Madden. Gruden story is on my mind. John, the, the Jacksonville John Madden has absolutely no fear of anything. <laughs> He's just going to send it. You're like, 66? Tucker did it, right? Yeah. Go do it. 
and <laughs> gives him the ball on the 40. So, um, yeah, that's interesting for sure. Um, but two on first down gets the completion out to whoever their backup tight end is. Ooh, little Wildcat. That was a Wildcat, right? Yeah, Najee with the big run out of the Wildcat. I didn't see. I was like, wait, a minute, that wasn't Tua who handed that off. <laughs> uh, so getting a little creative here from Miami, the uh, team that popularized the Wildcat in the NFL anyway. So good to see. Najee throws the ball after he's done with it, but not a terribly good game. So maybe frustration from him. Shaheen. Oh, Shaheen on the run. So whatever. I don't know. Tua rolls out. Throws across his body and gets the completion to Parker down to the five yard line. Things are definitely not looking up for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going to need to hold them to a field goal here to keep this game a one possession game. Dolphins are going to come out in a bunch set here. Maybe trying to. Uh, Run some uh, like corner routes or something. They go with the mesh concept, and they are going to try to hit uh, the receiver on the outside. They're going to have a field goal here. <laughs> I guess uh, Kelsey injured on the play. Uh, their best offensive lineman by a long shot. So losing him is certainly a uh, tough, tough uh, pill to swallow. Hopefully he is not going to be out for very long. Uh, as to a set up the throw, rolls out to his right. And throws it away. Uh, the spy by Jack and Dieter gets hurt too. He's the backup center. I don't know who's gonna play center for them now. That's back to back centers getting hurt on back to back plays. Uh, I don't know who would want to come out for them, but that's that's two two centers going down for them in very short order. So that's not ideal um, for sure. Tua again setting up the throw, hoping not to lose the center on this play. He's gonna roll out, run, and did he have enough? Oh. Just so close. What a tackle by Felton there. Uh, just stopped to a from crossing. The, or Wilson, sorry. Wilson from crossing the goal line. They're going to just take the points. Uh, I actually disagree. Uh, as bad as this Jacksonville offense has been, I think you just go for the jugular. You try to do a QB sneak or something. Uh, they make the kick, of course. Take the eight-point lead. I mean, so you have that. Your defense has been playing so well. But, like, I feel like you're out to get into safety at this point. You know? Uh, so... I think just pretty questionable decision uh, by the Miami John Madden to not uh, go for it. As they do muff it because it was good to go out of the back of the end zone. That's... Here we are. Make it or break it drive for Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Can they tie this game up or at least pull the game to within a you know more manageable score? He's going for it all and does not have a man open. Uh, DJ Chark was covered on the play, could not come down with it. Great defense there um, by the safety who rotated over. Lawrence go for the quick pass, uh, just in between everybody. Could anybody could have caught it, but nobody did. Trevor Lawrence, third and ten, six minutes to go. And uh, tough drop there. It wasn't going to be enough for the first down, regardless, but. Uh, that's a tough one to drop for sure, as the uh, Jaguars are going to have to punt here. And not a good one, the end of the wind. Definitely sucks to not get the, at least field position out of the punt. Um, right, some of our teams are so willing to play for that. But Tua uh, trying to put away this team. A field goal basically ends this game, as low scoring as it's been. Uh, as he rolls out, throws it deep. And that's going to just be a throwaway there. Pretty lucky to not be sacked. And that's going to be another basically throwaway there from Tua. Well, that was terribly accurate. Neither of these quarterbacks have been at all on target uh, with their completions, but Tua has just had more support around him. Better run after catch uh, on his throws as we get the pass here into Gasecki. For not quite the first down, so maybe we see a long field goal attempt. Maybe we see a go for it. Hey, one of them went for it. Let's go. The uh, Dolphins here trying to 
get into field goal range, run it with Najee, and that's not going to be enough. Jacksonville holds, so they get the field position anyway. Ball at the 45, uh, 5 minutes, 20 seconds left. Plenty of time in this game to get a couple more possessions, but you really need to start capitalizing on these. Uh, this is the best opportunity they've had uh, in the game, well, except for the pick six, of course. Oh, it's setting up the throw, bouncing, 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 bouncing. Going for it. And incomplete. Dang it. <laughs> We thought he's brewing something up pretty good there, but he did, he didn't brew anything up pretty good. Uh, again, setting a throw, quick pass to Hurst, who gets the catch and run for the first down. That was a nice Stevenson play. That's their uh, best play of the day. The only one that led to a first down or anything. Uh, but Lawrence looking to his right, it has Lavishka Chenault open, so maybe some rhythm for this Jacksonville offense. Just barely eclipsing 100 yards on the game. Quick pass, blitz off the left side, and it sets up the throw. Who is that? Is that Mercedes Lewis, maybe? It is Mercedes Lewis for the first down in the red zone for Jacksonville. A golden opportunity to tie this game up, or at least get a chance to. Inside trap, good blocking in front of Le'Veon. Trucks the defender and gets eight yards on the play. His, first, his best run since his third carry. Handoff of the middle. Great push up front by that Jacksonville front uh, down to the four-yard line. They pushed those guys back four yards on the play. So uh, I'd like to see them go right back to it. Uh, that offensive line is kicking serious ass right now. Uh, I don't know why you'd uh, go away from them here. Yep, setting up to under center again. Got the look you like. Just to dive back up the middle. Setting up for the quick pass. Hurst has it and gets the touchdown. So Jacksonville, after a whole game of struggling on offense, finally puts together the drive they need, gets the touchdown. Now they need the two-point conversion to tie this game up at 15 apiece. We'll score. Audible's out here, putting Chark in a tight end position. Interesting decision. Going to have him block even. And the pressure is too much from Miami. Uh, had the protection set up too, but uh, nobody got open quick enough. And that's going to result in a two-point deficit still for Jacksonville. Uh, but hopefully Miami takes this as a wake-up call that they can't just rely on their defense to sh completely shut down this uh, Jaguars offense and that they are going to need to get some more points for their defense. Um, or at least hold on to the ball for a while and make things more difficult. Short kick, and good move there at the 30-yard line to get a little better field position there Ink on the return. So here it is, Tua coming in against the uh, bunch set again, maybe trying to set up that mesh concept they ran earlier in the game, as they do, and this time they are able to convert it, as get the first down as Gusecki is able to break the first tackle. A uh, very hard guy to bring down, uh, Mike Gusecki, in the open field. Um, we're going to really hard to get recovered, too. He's just he's just kind of hard to do a lot of things with him on the football field if you're a defense. Hand off to Najee and breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage and falls forward. So pretty huge momentum swing there because uh, getting tackled at the line of scrimmage gives Jacksonville, you know, hope that they can stop you on this drive, really, or in this two plays uh, after the two-minute warning when they still have the timeouts they can stop you with. Run again to the right, and this time he is not going to uh, fall forward. He is going to get a face mask penalty. Or holding, sorry. Looks like he went down weird. Holding on Nelson Aguilar. Are they going to take it or decline it? They're going to take the penalty. Uh, it does still stop the clock. So second and 15. I wonder if they're going to try to pass on third down to try to get it. Uh, as Najee gets a four-yard run, timeout, Jacksonville. So obviously, they need the ball back. So are they going to set up play action here to try to get the first down? Or are they just going to go ahead and trust their kicker to you know, punt it or punt them deep and uh, trust their defense? Yeah, it looks like they're trusting their defense. As Najee gets that one-yard carry. Honestly, they could have just gotten sacked, uh, given him as much room as he could to punt this thing. But... Uh, 
because his net average is 55. He hits a 55-yard punt here, and it goes way out of the back of the end zone. So that's rough for sure. So, a minute 44, one timeout, Trevor Lawrence and the Jags coming off their first good drive of the game. Hopefully they can add a second to that list. Going for a deep shot here and has a man open. Breaks a tackle and gets to the 44-yard line. Kenny Galladay, welcome to the game. Lawrence, again, looking to the right, has a man and gets out of bounds. Stop the clock, a minute 18, that's midfield. Well ahead of schedule here for Jacksonville. They are into the wind, though, so they're going to need to get to about the 25-30 uh, to really even start considering kicking this ball. Uh, great pass to Chenault down to the 33. So, uh, I mean, minute 13, you're starting to think touchdown instead of uh, taking the kick, but certainly plenty of time left. Honestly, you're actually worried you're taking too little time and you're giving Miami enough too much. Uh, but obviously still a little bit more work to do for Jacksonville to get into true field goal range uh, with this win. And Stevenson's going to do more of the work. Did he get face masked as well? Yes, he did. So that's it. That is the range that Jacksonville needed to get in this game. Uh, face mask penalty on the Dolphins. Going to set up the uh, first and 10 on the 14. For Jacksonville, likely going to see a run here. Try to get the clock running. They are going to pass. Set up short pass and incomplete. That's kind of a disaster. I honestly, like I think I would have rather ran on first down and try to throw on second or third, but get the clock rolling or at least make them take a timeout. Uh, as they do run on second down, get the get a good game too. Actually, on second down, third and six now. Um, another run up the middle. Stevenson, unable to get the first down, does at least burn the last Miami timeout. So they had, uh, they spent, what, 50 seconds on this drive to get all the way down here? Yeah, even Miami with almost 60 seconds. So that's interesting. But here we are. Jacksonville takes the lead with the short field goal. They're going to kick it off here. 54 seconds left to Miami. One timeout for Miami. So. I mean, we saw Jacksonville do it just a second ago, and the wind is at Miami's back. This is a lot of time to give Miami. Uh, a lot of faith to put in this Jacksonville defense, really. To a big down for him, or a big drive for him, not necessarily down. Um, not a great decision to do that. The first time I moved behind them on the uh, visual. Rolling out, going deep. And whew, almost picked off there. And Lake Hooker is that? Um, this three safety for Jacksonville almost picks it off. Um, two are looking for Gusecki there. Couldn't get him. Uh, again, set the throw third and four across the middle. We have a flag. Is that another roughing call? Because that would be pretty brutal. Holding on the offense. Do you take it? Nah, you don't take it. Yeah, fourth and four. They're going to have to go for it. Oh, I didn't think about the going for it part. Yeah, I guess maybe. I don't know. And they do get it. Parker, uh, maybe you got to use timeout. Yeah, they got to kick a 65-yarder six, or whatever. Yeah, they're going to have to. They're going to they're gonna set up for a deep shot, I'm guessing. But uh, it's just time to kick the deep shot. Let me kick the field goal here. Uh, rolling out. Can't get the completion. That would have been huge. Because that would have put them into reasonable range. Right, right now, they're in unreasonable range. Uh, but, again, they're going to try to get a quick play in. And swing out quick to Najee. Hopefully, he gets out of bounds, I guess. Oh, that's it. Picked off. Gilmore with the pick. Uh, and he's going to take it to the house. Uh, well, not quite. He's going to get tackled. Because why not? Uh, but, that's going to do it. Jacksonville clutches up the win here. Uh, big plays by the defense really being the difference. The pick six and then the pick to ice the game. Trevor Lawrence only having about two good drives the whole game, but had him when they counted. So can't say much. Miami having to settle for five field goals, not getting a single touchdown, really came back to bite them. You wonder if that on the goal, they should have just went for the dive or went for the QB sneak. But in the end, um, 
what can you say except for well, she's an ugly game uh, and a game that Jacksonville needed to win to hold the division and did. Uh, Miami looked like a 1-4 uh, on offense and on defense at times uh, with the big costly turnovers. He had the Miles Jack pick six. It was not 75 yards, I don't think. Um, and then the allowing the Hayden Hurst touchdown, but it's just field goals. I mean, it's 24 yarders, it's 17 yarders, 30, 34. I mean, like, they didn't take a, you know, they got down. They had the yards to win this game. They just didn't, didn't uh, execute well enough. Now, let's look at the team stats here. I forgot to do that for the last one, but, I mean, yards, all Miami, all, all fast to the game. First downs, yep. You know, turnovers, though. Killed you. Neither team was good at all third down. Uh, Miami was great in the red zone, except for it scoring touchdowns. Uh, and time possession on Miami. But at the end of the day, you've got to score touchdowns. you got to get touchdowns. The same thing as last week. They could have gotten a touchdown in a different game. Same thing here. Get a touchdown in a different game. Uh, but neither quarterback, I would write anything home about at all. I mean, the guy who threw one incomplete pass was close to Tua and was half of Lawrence's passer rating. So it's, uh, it's all you need to know, really. Trevor Lawrence helped a lot by that touchdown he got near the end. Tua hurt a lot by the two picks he threw. Neither quarterback even completed 50% of their passes. Uh, only one of them had a long higher than what you do when you pass weeks in the game. Ironically, Trevor Lawrence's long is 25. Um, but it was just bad. It was really, really bad game by both of them. Uh, Trevor Lawrence just had a couple drives that gave you hope, but not the game you hope to see from Tua. Uh, rushing attacks both started strong, both ended poorly. Uh, that's all I can really say. That thing. Gusecki was great. Devontae Parker was great. Schnault was very huge for them in the clutch. Najee Harris had that big catch and run. Um, Crowder had the early drop, but otherwise was pretty solid on the whole. Um, Kenny Galladay had. Just one big catch, but got it. Two drops from Chark, uh, and then the one drop from Al Gore. But that was a penalty, so I don't know if I really give him too much flack for that. Yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's take a look at the tackles here. CJ Henderson tied for the lead in solo tackles. Miles Jack, Will Thompson at eight. Jerome Baker, two tackle for loss. Shaq Lawson getting one as well. Uh, four sacks. Al Woods, Doug Costin, Josh Allen, and Cecil Henderson combining for that one. Uh, interceptions, Miles Jack and Gilmore, both in their first games. Uh, all right, sorry, Gilmore is his first game. Jackson playing. What am I doing? Anyway, uh, Nick Needham with two pass deflections. Malik Coker had the one. Uh, and Fox Hall was none. So, yeah, ugly game. Uh, great win, though, for Jacksonville. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter how pretty it looks. It just matters that you... Uh, went ahead and won it, and you did. Uh, and I respect the aggressiveness. Take two sixty yards. I really do. Uh, it was they they played to win throughout the whole game. These average punts were just bad, but they played to win, and they ended up winning. Miami lost attempts, just played not to lose. So that didn't happen, right? Okay, I wonder if that's what happened with the uh, other thing, where it's just, we talked about the Arden Key return. There, that didn't happen. Th there was not a 69-yard kick return, correct? God, I'm going to feel like an idiot if I miss a 69-yard fucking kick return. But, uh, I had enough opportunities, I guess. Oh, it probably glitched it to only show one. They had a lot of kick returns. I don't know. Whatever. Weird. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the London game. Uh, we have on deck our spotlight game coming up which is the i'm going to look at the poll right now for you guys just just a live update here as i as i call it basically live it's going to be the uh LA chargers versus the baltimore ravens for the spotlight game i'll be back on the call for that one uh, and then following following that one up will be our game of the week between the arizona cardinals and the cleveland browns so those are our two uh pick the games of the week and I'll be on the call for both those. And then we will wrap things up with Sunday Night Football tonight. So I will see you guys in the spotlight game.